After Box Nation, at you again. This is your think tank, your gracious host, Out the Box. Okay, campers, put on your thinking caps. I got some good content that uh, is going to make you say, hmm. Uh, we had just had a recent death in the um, entertainment industry with A.J. Johnson, the comedian. I'd like to send shout outs and my condolences to his family and to him. Hey, we all got to check out here. We not going to get out this life alive. We all going to have to check out. But in the meantime, in between time, we should make it advantageous to our family and loved ones who's going to have to deal with the situation when we pass on. Uh, I saw his wife on Instagram and Facebook crying about she can't pay for his funeral. And, and you know, those were some, some heartfelt tears, you know, I've really felt it. But once again, we have to do as the Romans do. We in Rome, black family, we have to do as the Romans do. We have to start getting into trust funds and investing in life insurance because we're not going to get out this life alive. Once again, I will say it again. We're not going to get out this life alive. So we must invest in the future and make sure that our loved ones won't have the burden of, you know, having to cover the debt of burying us you know we getting cremated now nah, we not even having the, the little service no more they just cremate them thousand dollars you know come on we got to do a little bit better than this black family only because it's looking very slim and thin you know this is 2021 and uh we still doing the same stuff that we were doing back in the 70s you know having to pass the hat to try to bury somebody having to pass the hat when this go wrong or, or something. Look, instead of passing a hat around or GoFundMe and all this other type of stuff, let's have something in reserve. Plan ahead. Put a little something away. It's okay. You can't take none of this with you when we pass on. Not your cars, your house, your money. You can't take none of that with you. So why not leave what you can to your loved ones so they can be a little bit more comfortable while they're here? Your sentence is up. Hmm. But things are going on. Let's leave them something. Let's not them have. Let's not let them have the burden of. Man, I got to bury this dude. I ain't got no money. The intentions may be sincere, but. The reality is I'm broke. So what now? Black folk got to do the same ritual, the embarrassing ritual of having to beg each other to come up with some little change to bury your loved one. When all along, we could have been had that already in reserve. Knowing that, hey, once you get into your 50s and your 40s and hey, maybe, maybe your, your 30s a little bit there. You should already have a game plan already waiting so that you can be able to be like, hey, look, I know I, anything can may, may happen. My kids be taken care of if something happened to me or my wife or whomever. We have to get on that type of thinking that we're going to have to start being proactive instead of reactive start thinking of thinking ahead playing some chess moves uh, in chess you know you have to be be able to think two moves ahead in order to be able to be a, a decent chess player well if you want to be a decent chess player in life you have to have two steps ahead of the game we need to strive for progress instead of regress. Instead of keeping up with the Joneses, we need to keep on with the Joneses. Try to start leaving a debt-free life. Stop trying to, what is it, the, the new, inf the, the infinity is the new black folks Cadillac now. Everybody want one of them things. Please. 
A, B for me. Point A, point B. If it get me there and there and back, hey, I'm happy with it. When it's all said and done, you can't take none of it with you. Have fun while it's down here and you down here with it because that's all you can do is enjoy what is. What's not, you cannot enjoy. You're not going to get out this life alive. Let's start planning ahead and be proactive. An ounce of prevention beats a pound of cure. Once again, black family, an ounce of prevention beats a pound of cure. Let's start being proactive. Reach into our think tanks, come out with some better solutions instead of walking around crying about, I ain't got this to bury my loved one. It's a sad, sad time where we in 2021 and we're still doing that. Hey, but it is what it is. So I say to my black family, we're going to have to start doing some investments, get some trust funds, get some life insurance, and start being a little bit more responsible. Because Big Mama ain't around no more. Ain't no more Big Mama. It's all little mama. And she twerking all over the place. With, with red and orange and blue hair. Nobody to teach our kids how to do it right. Baby boomers are dying out. And this new millennium is here. And, and, and X generation and all of that. Hey, they got a new game plan on this. And it's not working for us. It's working for the others. Because they... Got the game plan down packed. It was built for them. But us, hmm. We better start playing a little chess, black family. Because the chess players are already 10 moves ahead of us. While we, not even two moves ahead of the game. So I say this to you, out the box nation. I'm not going to sit here and beat a dead dog with a stick. Too late? No, okay. I'm not going to belabor the point. But I will put a, put a little embellishment on it. I think that uh, we're in dire straits. It's looking sad for us. Um, it's time to push the panic button. Go out and get some daggone insurance, black family. Uh, take care of your family because ain't nobody else will. And uh, we need to stop with this GoFundMe mess and passing this hat mess and have some reserve instead of something happening we have the reserve to go to instead of having everybody in your business cackling they send you uh, maybe a couple of dollars but they're gonna talk about you like a dog oh i had to send such and such such and such a little money because such and such happened this is look we are crabs in the barrel and i don't know if and when or if ever we'll ever get away from that so let's be a little proactive instead of reactive and uh, let's start taking care of each other, black family. Let's love each other. If you love anything about the scripture or anything about the scripture, uh, I am my brother's keeper. And I'm uh, only an arm length away from my brother. And if you feel any other type of way, nah. So what? I love you all. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Peace.